Hi, hello. My name is Paige Botowski, and you're joining me today for a knitting tutorial. This is video number two in the series of my cross-country sweater. So today I'll be giving you an update of my progress, talk a little bit about some slight changes that I made and will be putting into the pattern and where I'm going from here. Thus far, I have completed half of the bodice. Alteration I do want to point out that I made in this pattern was changing the increase and decrease from increasing and decreasing every other row to increasing and decreasing every row. So that every other row worked when I was knitting a size small sweater. It did not work in this sweater, which is going to be a size large. Uh, so I needed that increase to happen at a faster incline and decline in order to keep this a cropped sweater rather than a long sweater. So I will be going back and editing the pattern um, and helping you guys out by fixing that and giving a little demonstration of that in the written pattern. So if we're looking at the diagram here that I've created, uh, you can see how the halves cross over and that's how we get the crisscross pattern. So to pick up and prepare for that second half of this sweater, I need to go back to the top of my rib stitch and pick up that one stitch from each row. I'm using my thinner needle here, uh, the smaller gauge, to pick this up just to make it a little bit easier. And as soon as I finish picking all of these up, I will transition to my larger needle because that is what the body of the sweater was knit in. And as you can see, this is a little bit difficult having this project be made out of a small gauge and having it be knit with two strands makes this process a little tedious. Um, if I were knitting it with a larger gauge and a thicker yarn, this would be more visible and a little bit easier of a task. And here you can see I've finished this, uh, just like in the cooking shows, voila, I'm done, and transitioned over to the needle and I'll be ready to start knitting away. A huge thank you to you for joining me here today. If you want to see more material like this, please comment below, let me know. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you want unrestricted access to my entire studio practice, all of my textile techniques, and what's going on in my life, uh, you can check out my Patreon. Um, and a huge thank you to everyone who's continued to follow and stay interested in my work.